<clears throat> in one of Dr. Harry Emerson Fosdick's uh, messages, he talks about ideas that have used me. And I think that we ought to be open to scripture in such a way that certain texts use us, guide us, convict us, challenge us, even condemn us and bring us to the altar of confession that we might be cleansed and purified uh, and go through a confessional and equip us and prune us and equip us to come back. Now, the use of the lectionary, which is prevalent in some worship traditions, uh, is a great uh, resource. It can become, I think, a crutch uh, where we simply depend on that to speak for us rather than becoming involved in, <clears throat> excuse me, and baptized anew in that scripture so that, <clears throat> excuse me, a great scripture ought to be like a great hymn, a great anthem. Uh, you don't sing the hallelujah chorus one time, but you sing it over and over. You don't look at the Mona Lisa one time, but you look at it again and again and again with new inspiration and new meaning. So one should never withdraw from the use of the same scripture, but it should not become boring and repetitive. It ought to come, you ought to sing an old anthem with new inspiration and new revelation. And that is the thing that makes it great. And I can go to the same river and keep getting fresh water and food and all of the other benefits from the same fountain, the same stream, the same river. How often can you, how, uh, how, how, how do we finish preaching? Uh, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. How, how do we complete? Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. How do we finish? Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you and pray for them that despitefully use you. That's new every morning. 